Hello and how are you guys? Welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be learning about functions. So let us get started. First of all, I'm going to be showing you how to declare a function. You have to open your macro, a module. When we create a function, we start with function. Then the name of the function, let's say welcome. Uh, type of the function means a return type of what will be the return of the welcome. Let's say as string. Okay, and let's as see a simple example. I'm going to say welcome equals means when I use the function welcome, this should happen. And what should happen? Hello and welcome should happen. Means this should be the return in the function. So how do we see the answer? We will go to our sheet and we are going to type in here equals welcome as you can see welcome is now in here it says hello and welcome so it is working perfectly now let us come back in here and let us get some arguments we're gonna get some argument like um, name as string okay I'm gonna say plus name now this is not optional i have to give the name so that i can have hello and welcome and my name so let us see that we're gonna say equals welcome in here i'm gonna say in as a string i'm gonna say ali that would be my name and it says hello and welcome ali isn't it cool coming back again if i want this to be optional i want it to be optional means uh, if I type it it's good if I don't type it it shouldn't create any problem if you see it right now if I say welcome and if I don't type anything it's gonna give me an error okay now if I come back and say this is optional and its default value is equal to nothing means if I don't give anything it shouldn't do anything it shouldn't give you anything so for example if I now check it out oops it says hello and welcome and it's working good I don't need to give the name but if I give the name in here I will give it Ali again that is of course my name that's why I'm using it so it is working now isn't it cool? If it's optional, you can give it optional, you can make it optional. If it's uh, compulsory, you can make it compulsory and whatever you want. We're going to get rid of this and we're going to start from basic, from zero. And we're going to try to find area of rectangle, area of uh, square and area of a triangle. Let us get started. I'm going to say function. So area of rectangle, the output should be the result of this length times width. So let us try this. We are going to say equals area of rectangle. Then we are going to say length times width. And I get 24. Just let us just copy it everywhere in here. Now area of square. So whatever we give it, we need only one argument, length or width, because in square we have all the sides same. So either it is length or either it is width, the result will always be the same. So we'll use a simple stupid strategy in here and we'll say equals area of rectangle. Okay, area of not rectangle, it's area of square. now equals area of square and I'll give it just length and now everything is fixed I can just copy it in here now area of triangle is similar to this guy now I'm gonna say equals area of a triangle equals this 
input 1, this, input 2, then I close it because the inputs are same in a rectangle and a triangle. The only difference is that in triangle we divide it by 2. And that is all. Okay guys, that was all. We have learned about optional variables. By the way, the optional variables needs to be in the last. Okay, for example, I have an optional R variable. I have like this and this. I want length to be optional. So I can't say optional in here because optional needs to be last things. Okay, so you can't start with uh, optional. You have to start with the compulsory one. That's why it is giving me an error. If I just copy this and bring it in here, it doesn't give me any error. Okay? Okay, guys, that was all, and I'll see you in the next reel. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye-bye.